Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Eddie Marcus, and I'm spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people. It is a dream that I have that every human being on the face of this earth get a chance to live your dream. I feel as if the God of the universe designed that kind of life for every last one of us. And because I feel that, I see that, it is real to me. I see the path that leads us there. And I recognize all of that which denies us that. And so to all of the poor people of the United States of America who are present today and all of you who are gone, you were hijacked by deception. You were hijacked by a lie, a lie that said that there are others better than you. The truth of the matter is, it's what you actually listened to was a fake God, a God that gave you division, a God that denied you your right to life. And what I want to do is see that God stop. The truth of the matter is that God is not going to just stop. For the most part, you might not require that it stop. And I do not know whether the power that be will force it to stop when we, the people who have choice, choose to allow it to continue. All I want you to know is this, that regardless of what they told you, there's a God, an invisible power that is responsible for all existence. And that is you and I and all of us who left all of the resources necessary necessary for us to do whatever in the world we might want to do. The resources given to us, just like the earth that we walk on, just like the seas and the rivers, just like the clouds and the sky and the rain, all of that is given to us free. Resources given to us free that we may use our talents the talent that gives us our greatest joy is what we love doing. And that is what we do in love. I'm talking to you that are poor. I want you to understand how simple it is, how simple it is for you to live your dreams. God, not just you, but for everybody on earth to live their dreams by engaging themselves in the process of creating. Let me say it again, by engaging themselves in the process of creating, in other words, you got a career, a job, I'm saying it again, that gives you your greatest joy, you love doing it, and all of the resources here, and all of the needs, wants, and desires are here, and it gives you the opportunity to enjoy yourself immensely, and all of the other things are just cream on the top, like you never have to worry about housing, it is no problem, education, no problem. Healthcare, no problem. Transportation, no problem. Infrastructure, no problem. Recreation, no problem. Anything that you want to do, no problem. That kind of lifestyle allows for peace. It allows for prosperity. It allows for freedom. It allows for joy and happiness. And most of all, it allows for you to live your dreams. And I don't know what your dreams are, but you do. And I bet you they're fantastic. Now, why not live them? Well, this is what this is all about. It is about giving you an understanding that the power that you can't see but is available for you to cause a manifestation of that power. And as you create these things that you pray for, as you see this bubbling joy, it's happening right before your very eyes. This is the power that is a loving power. And you the thing that makes it loving is this. I want you to understand this now. The thing that makes it loving is that it is designed for all people. It's not designed for any special group, any special one. It's designed for every last one. All you got to do is be real. Be real. Be real. And see, when you are doing these kinds of things, when you're doing then life becomes satisfied. I mean, actually satisfied because nothing is hanging you 
Nothing is choking you. You are a lover. Now, this, I'm giving this message to you, the poor, to let you know how simple it is. How simple this power is of truth. Now, that doesn't mean, I don't want you to think for one second, that there isn't opposition. There will be opposition. But the truth of the matter is, recognize that they do not know any better. And just like any situation, when people or kids or children or situations are not understood and they don't know better, you have to treat it like they're lacking the knowledge. And you must show them. You must demonstrate for them the benefit of turning their back on that lie <laughs> and start living according to the truth. So I need you, every last one of you, to tell the poor, make sure that the poor supports this cause. And the only thing you have to do is look up this uh, post, and it's entitled to all the poor people in America. Just look, just click on it. You can listen to the post if you want to. If you don't, just keep on trucking. But I want to know that you have heard the message and that in one way or another, you are a supporter, that you want change. And I need every poor person, if you got your phone walking around, checking out some music, think about this and check this program to all the poor people in America and give a, a statement that you support what we as lovers want to see done. Well, I want to thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen. I will be posting relative, so check it out. Bye-bye.